see the discus on the six o'clock news, Mary, please? What? Mary, it's Lou and I've got to see him right away. <laughs> Well, is he in? Uh, uh, no, Ted, uh, he isn't in. I'll wait in his office, then. Uh, well, uh, Ted, I... Uh, oh. Thought you said he wasn't in. She was right, I'm out. <laughs> Just a minute, Lou. There's something I want to discuss with you that's very serious. All right, Ted, what is it? Some idiot parked his car in my parking space. <laughs> and I'm pretty teed off about it, Lou. I know what you mean, Ted. Some idiot was parked in my space this morning, too. What did you do about it? I parked in your space. <laughs> Lou, there's a note on your windshield. I'll go down first and tear it up for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Hi, kid. Hiya. Well, now, let's go. We're in a big hurry. Oh, what's the rush? We've got just one hour to eat lunch, rent a bed, and get back to work. Went to bed? <laughs> yeah, my mother called from New York. She's coming to visit me. Oh, how nice. Nice is when your mother comes to visit you. Well, it'll be nice to see your mother again. She's fun. Fun? Well, I mean, I like her. Well, I like her too, Mary. But I like her better person to person than in person. Oh. <laughs> automatically assume that your mother's visit is going to turn out to be a disaster? I have to, Mayor. It's one of the few sure things I can count on in life. Come on, Rhoda. You love your mother and you know it. Of course I love her. I just think she's holding a grudge because I didn't go into the profession she picked out for me. Housewife. <laughs> My mother, she's here. Hey, Mayor. Does this look real? Oh, come on. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be here. Yes, here I am. Oh, well, I was thinking maybe you would have gotten married or something. Uh, no, not yet. Or engaged? No. I'm not married or engaged either, Mom. I know, I know. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, I'll be leaving you, too. No, 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 no. You stay. Rhoda, let me look at you. You know, it's really terrific to see you. It's <laughs> terrific to see you, too. I'm, I'm really happy you're here, Ma. Don't worry, I'm leaving soon. <laughs> what do you mean you're leaving? I'm going to a hotel. I see you already have a house guest. I rented this bed for you. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Uh, why not? Well, you never know who had it last. <laughs> Ma, look, I empty drawers for you and everything. Oh, lovely. Mary, you look so slim and trim. Oh, and Rhoda. <laughs> Well, listen, I, I think I really should be No, leaving. no, 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 you stay right here now. Don't you want to know why I came all the way to Minneapolis? Well, of course I do. Good, good, good. Well, now, you know, every year, Martin and I, uh, that's my husband, Martin. You know, Rhoda's father. Yes. <laughs> well, every year, Martin and I go on a vacation to the Poconos. Oh, how nice. Now, Martin hates the Poconos. <laughs> oh. So, this year, we both had a great time. I went by myself. Oh, well, sometimes that turns out to be the best kind of vacation after all. I remember one year, my mother and father... Mary, I haven't quite finished my story. <laughs> oh, well, uh, no, go right ahead. Well, when you go to a resort alone, they sit you in the dining room at what they call the uh, singles table. Aha, uh -huh, yes, I know that table. So, I met this most marvelous single man who's president of something, and he is so good-looking, and, well, we spent the week together. Ma, he sounds perfect. Does Pop know about this? <laughs> Rhoda, he's 34 years old. What I came out here for was to tell you that he is absolutely perfect for her. <laughs> perfect for me? Oh, Mrs. Morgenstern, you shouldn't have. I'm really... Ma, why is this perfect man not perfect for me? Rhoda, you don't understand. He's not, uh, you know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, <laughs> he's not, uh... J J J J J J Wish You can say he's not Jewish in front of Mary. She's not Jewish either. <laughs> That's why he's perfect for her. Mom, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but I have seriously dated guys who weren't. No, you haven't. <laughs> yes, I have. 
I really, Mary, have... Uh, Mrs. Morgenstern, I really appreciate you taking an interest in me and all, but, you know, with, with, with Rhoda being my best friend and all, I feel sort of... Well, it's hard to know how to put it. Well, I know how to put it. Ma, you're not done being my mother. Now, finish driving me crazy before you start branching out. <laughs> well, look, I, I know you two have a lot to talk about. Oh, no, 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 Mary. We're finished talking. Apparently, someone here thinks I've done something wrong. Lucky it happened early in my visit, so I'm not totally unpacked yet. Oh, Mrs. Morgan. You can send back the bed. I'm sure if you call now, they'll give you a refund. <laughs> Ma, if you just... I thought just ahead. this once please. I'd come out and we wouldn't get on each other's nerves, but I see Ma, I'm wrong. Ma, I'm sorry. No, really, no, Ma. Time. Stop. No, please, please, please. Made up. No, Ma, I will you stop? Ended, but no, Ma, Ma, I'm not talking But Ma, you're about. packing my clothes. <laughs> You wear such a revealing nightgown. I give up. Oh. Mary, what's the matter with us? Nothing, nothing. Ma, it's no big deal. Come on now. Plenty of people fight with their mothers. Who? Brenda, Arnold. You leave your brother and sister out of this. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going out with them again tonight. Uh -huh. uh, hang on, Mother, will you? There's someone at the door. Who is it? Just me. And her daughter. Hi. Hi. We've just been out doing a little shopping. Oh, well, that must have been fun. For a hairnet. <laughs> Listen, uh, just make yourselves at home. I'm talking to my mother. Hi. So, uh, where was I? Ah, yes. I'm going out with him again tonight. And he, I uh, have a cold drink. Good, uh, hang on, uh, mother. Uh, Rhoda wants to know if you'd like a cold drink. Well, that would be very nice. Thank you. Okay. Tell her I'm going to get it. I heard. Listen, I would really like you to meet him. Uh, maybe the four of us can go out to dinner next week, huh? Great, I'd like that. It'd be fun. Okay, I'll be talking to you, Mom. Bye-bye. That was your mother. Yeah. You talk like that to your mother. Oh, my, that's lovely. But, uh, what do you mean? Well, it sounded like you were talking to a friend. Oh, well, yeah, we are uh, friends. Friends, sure. Just uh, like you and Rhoda are friends. <laughs> So, tell me about your shopping trip. So we have lovely stores here in Minneapolis? Oh, yes. And we went to every one of them. 30 stores. So what'd you buy? Lunch. <laughs> I'll bet you and your mother have a good time when you go shopping, don't you, Mary? Well, y no. No. Uh, we, uh, we have completely different tastes, and she likes to browse, and I like to just get in and out in a hurry. Actually, we just end up getting on each other's nerves. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Hi! Hi! Hi, Ida! Bess, you were right. That was Mrs. Morgan Stern. Uh, Hi! Why, I bet the last time I saw you, I bet you were just about that high. I couldn't have grown that much. Well, maybe I was standing at the time. That's better. <laughs> How long are you staying, Ida, dear? Not long. Oh. Would you look at these outfits? We just got these neat dresses today. Are they the darlingest things you ever saw? Uh, They're mother-daughter dresses. How does your husband look in his? <laughs> we don't want to be late for the young people's concert. We still have to decide what to wear. Why don't you wear your young people's concert mother-daughter dresses? <laughs> wonderful concerts for children. Uh -huh. No, Mary, this is a real young people's concert. It's the eighth grade band at Bess's school. Bess plays first trumpet. There is only one trumpet. That's because you play so well, dear. <laughs> well, Phyllis, I better go change. Bye, everyone. Bye, dear. She calls you Phyllis? That's the kind of relationship we have. Easy, honest, open, wonderful. That, too. <laughs> For the past two years, I've been teaching a course showing mothers how to relate to their children. Oh. Phyllis, isn't that a ceramics class you teach? They think it's a ceramics class. <laughs> hey, Mayor, could you give me a hand with something? Yeah, sure. What do you need? Your hands. I have to carry a sheet of plywood out of my car upstairs and put it under my mother's mattress. Sure. I need the support for my back. Oh. Oh, but don't go to any bother. I'd be very happy to make up the floor. Wouldn't work, Ma. It's a very soft floor. <laughs> That's dumb awful. Oh, I forgot. You're related. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It seems to me that Rhoda and I don't have anything to say to each other. But you, you seem to be such good friends with your little Bess. Well, I try. And Mary and her mother. How do you do it, Phyllis? You really want to know? 
Well, I don't want to be any bother. Oh, Ida. Oh, it's no bother. Believe me, Ida. Why don't you come with me? I have some books downstairs, and I'll be glad to give them to you. They explain everything you need to know, and what they don't explain, I'll explain. Well, I'd sure like to be friends with Rhoda. Well, it's never too late, Ida. Well, unfortunately, the only thing Rhoda and I have in common is her father. <laughs> but I'm having lunch with Rhoda and Ida. Now, who's Ida? Ida is this person who used to be Rhoda's mother who is now driving her crazy trying to be her friend. She even went on a diet with Rhoda. She lost three pounds and Rhoda gained five. You don't seem to be able to get together on anything. You know, my mother was the same way. She could never seem to understand that kids don't need parents for friends. Luckily, she finally got the message. How? When they wouldn't let her on my little league team. <laughs> too bad, too. That woman had a great arm. Hi, guys. Hi. Ted, what are you doing in so early? You don't go on for, what, uh, five and a half hours? Well, I'm doing a little moonlighting on daytime TV. Going to be a guest panelist on What's My Talent? <laughs> panelist? You should be a contestant, Ted. No one would ever guess what your talent is. <laughs> Wait a minute, Murray. You know, sometimes I don't know whether the things you say are insults or compliments. Oh, gee, Ted. I'd hate to think that you're taking all these things I say the wrong way. <laughs> They're not compliments. Mary! Hi! Oh, hi, Mrs. Morgan Stern. Well, what a nice big office you've got here. Oh, well, no, I just, I just have this little desk here. Oh, well, what a nice little desk in such a big office. <laughs> Gee, you look great. Oh, do you like it? Mm. I bought it this morning. Rhoda not here? No. I can't wait to tell her I lost three more pounds on her diet. Oh, she'll be thrilled. <laughs> Listen, why don't you just sit down and make yourself comfortable? I've got to take this down to the mail room. Uh, by the time I get back, Rhoda should be here and we'll all go to lunch. I'm looking forward to it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to break my diet for lunch. Ah. Black. I mean, you didn't say whether you want a cream or sugar, so I just bought a black. I could have added the cream and sugar, but if I would have put it in, I couldn't get it out. Hello. You work here? No, I'm Rhoda's mother. Ah, uh, she work here? No, I'm Rhoda's Mary's friend. Aha, uh -huh. at last, somebody who works here. Where is she? Mary? Ah. Uh. Oh, she'll be back in a few minutes. She's, uh... Back in the mailing room, mailing some, uh, mail. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mary works hard, doesn't she? Uh-huh. I know you're busy, because Mary's told me how hard you work, too. I try. <laughs> Say, it's a nice little office you Ah, look! <laughs> Miss, will oh, you please... Mrs. Morgenstern. I, uh, see you've met. Yes, we've met. Uh, well, uh, we better be leaving. Oh, I'm awfully glad I got a chance to meet you. Mary's told me so much about you, how considerate you are and how thoughtful. It was very nice meeting you, Murray. <laughs> Person, isn't he? Oh, he certainly is. <laughs> ah, Murray. I'd like you to meet Rhoda's mother, Mrs. Morgan Stern, Murray Slaughter. I'm very happy to meet you. Thank you. Well, there are a lot of Murrays around here, aren't there? <laughs> uh, well, no, actually, that wasn't a Murray in there. That was my boss, Mr. Grant. Oh, I didn't realize I should go and apologize. No, 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 please. Don't. Just uh, go relax. I'll explain later. Mary, I'm sorry I'm so late. Rhoda, oh. hi. Ma. That dress. 
You like it? Of course. I like it. I'm wearing it. <laughs> Why are you wearing it? Oh, Ma, you bought the same dress I bought yesterday. Didn't you know? Well, of course. Who do you think zipped you up this morning? Oh, Why? Why did you do that? Because it's nice. <laughs> Ma, it, it's terrible. It's so, the worst. where shall we have lunch today? Someplace very dark. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, just a little. Just a little. Thank you for bringing it. We're not drinking it. It isn't too sweet for you, is it? Oh! No, no. Mmm. Not too sweet? <laughs> Rhoda? Oh, no, no, Ma. I'm saving mine for dessert. Phyllis, you sure you want to stay and have some dessert oh, no, with no, us? No, no, no. thank you, Mary. Bess and I are having dinner out together before we go to the theater. Together. Together. You do everything together, don't together. you? They sure do. Phyllis is the only grown-up ever to graduate Rosewood Avenue Grammar School. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sure, Ida, that you took just as active an interest in your daughter's schooling as I do in my little Bess's. Well, I would have visited Rhoda's school more often, but I was afraid to walk alone in that neighborhood. <laughs> Coffee, anybody? Yeah, I'd love some, Mayor. Phyllis, we better go now so we won't miss the play. Oh. What are you seeing? Here. It's all right. It's a benefit for the PTA. They're, they're doing the nude scene with their clothes on. Oh. Well, I hope you don't get raided. I'd hate to see Bess's picture splashed all over the front page of the Weekly Reader. <laughs> How's Bye, that, kids? Bye-bye, dear. Bye, Mary. Bye. Well, shall we have coffee in the room? You can bring your wine. Gee, it's nice spending an evening together. Just us three girls. Ma, the only girl in this room just left. Miss Morgenstern, cream and sugar? One sugar, please. How about you, Rhoda? Are you taking sugar in your coffee? I'm just going to put my wine in it. <laughs> well, we got all the way through dinner and nobody even mentioned my pantsuit. Oh, I noticed it. It's lovely. Yeah, Ma, that's what's different about you. You never wore pants before. I, I mean, uh, literally, that is. <laughs> no one else is different about me? What? I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> clothes on. Oh, Rhoda, I can't believe you'd tell a friend to go change just because she's with it. You're not with it. You're without it. Now go upstairs and get it. <laughs> Mary, what do you think of that? Oh, uh, well, actually, I, uh, uh... You listen to Mary. She knows. Uh, please. A few days ago, when you were my mother, you used to drive me a little crazy. Okay. Then Phyllis gets a hold of you and you become my best friend. If I had a choice, I would rather be driven crazy by my mother than by a complete and total stranger in a pantsuit and no bra. It was a lovely dinner. Thank you, Mary. I'm sorry I can't stay and help with the dishes, but perhaps I'll be coming back to Minneapolis again sometime. Ma, Ma, please wait. Okay, I'll be your friend. You mean it? Yeah, I mean it. We'll be like uh, roommates. Oh, well, then, what are us three girls going to do tonight? Well, I'd love to join you, but I have a date. Oh, what about you, Ro? I have a date, too. Oh. Well, have a good time. You know, this being friends is going to take a great weight off of both of us. I mean, in the old days, when you said you were going out, I would have said, who is he? What does he do for a living? Yeah, what's his family like? Where are you going? Yeah, but those are all mother questions. Friend doesn't ask those questions, does she? Uh, i not. Uh-huh. Well, uh, what time is he picking you up? Oh, he's uh, not picking me up. I'm picking him up. And we're driving up to the mountains. He has this uh, cabin. I should be home by Thursday. <laughs> ah. Testing, just testing. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
Well, I was uh, just uh, getting ready for bed, but uh, come on in. Huh? Thank you. Is uh, anything matter? No, I just can't sleep. I guess my body's still in New York time. It's not late for you to be up, isn't it? Well, no, I was on the date. Oh, did you see Rhoda? She was out there on a date, too. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, isn't she home yet? Gee, I don't know. I didn't see her up there. Oh, well, that's pretty hard to miss her up there in that small room, so... Yeah, well, I don't go around keeping tabs of my friends. Oh. What'd you do on your date? Oh, we just, uh, show, uh, watched a new group at the Embers, you know. Oh, my, you did all that in your home and undressed and ready for bed? Wonder what road is ready for. Well, <laughs> Mrs. Morgenstern, I wouldn't worry about her. Worry? Oh! I'm not worried. Okay, before I would have been worried, but now... You don't know the name of her date, do you? Rhoda's family? Uh, no, he's somebody new. Uh-huh. Well, I guess Rhoda and that mysterious stranger are out there parked somewhere. Uh, Mrs. Morgenstern, I don't think people do that anymore. Now, what do they do? Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> hey, you know something? It gets awfully dark here in Minneapolis. Mrs. Morgan Stern. Ida. Ida. Listen, there is probably nothing to worry about, but if it would make you feel better to worry, why don't you just let yourself go and worry? Worry? Why should I worry? I didn't worry when you came in at 1257. <laughs> oh, Mary, I'm keeping you up. I think I'm... Yeah. Do you have a cold drink? I think I'm thirsty. <laughs> Have you seen my mother? Yeah. Oh, hi, oh. Rhoda. Home so soon? <laughs> I just came down for a glass of milk, and Mary and I got to talking. No, Mrs. Morgenstern, you did not just happen to come down for a glass of milk. Ida. Mrs. Morgenstern. I came home, she wasn't there, so I got worried. Yeah, well, you're not the only one who was worried. Your mother was... I was not. You were. Rhoda, you shouldn't go around worrying your friend like that. Which friend? You or her? Well, she's right, Ma. You're what, the one who was worried. What makes you so sure? Because you hate milk. <laughs> hey, look, Ma, you've been a swell friend, but I really need a mother. Oh, Mrs. Morgenstern, did you hear that? I heard, I heard. No, hold it, girls. No emotions. It's nothing touching. I just need a mother right now, one flight up. What for? Because all night long I have been out with Super Lech. Which was okay, because I knew when he brought me home, I could say, I'm sorry, you can't come in. My mother's staying with me. So when we got to the door, he says, prove it. So I opened the door, and no mother. Is he still up there? Uh-huh. <laughs> He can take care of himself. <laughs>